Welcome everyone to my presentation on this idea that I've had on this entrepreneurial idea of a heated wetsuit. And I'll explain to you um, here in a bit why it's important to me, why I decided to kind of come up with this idea and the mechanics and the bio, um, biotech behind it. So we all know that scuba diving and surfing and snorkeling and water sports doesn't even have to be in the ocean, you know, just boating in Utah can be so much fun. Um, but a lot of times, depending on location and season, we are very limited on, you know, how much time we can actually enjoy these fun activities. As you can see here in the slide, it talks about the water temperature and what temperature has to be outside in order for, you know, either to have a wetsuit, not a wetsuit, or too cold in general for any um, of the following. It's, as you can see, there's a breaking point right here at 60 degrees on the water and 60 degrees at the air temperature. And if it is below 60, 60 degrees in the air, then, you know, pretty much any water temperature is going to be too cold as far as lakes and the ocean go. And it, pretty, it has to be pretty significantly um, warmer in the air temperature if you're going to enjoy any of these um, water sports and even then you know you can't be in the water too long or else the water kind of takes over and offsets the air temperature and as you can see the problem is that 65 percent of coast um, covering you know the land of the world is too cold to do any sort of activity whatever season it may be you go North of Virginia Beach, it's too cold. Um, even with the wet suit, you go north of, you know, Northern California, and it's too cold as well. And then you have so much of the same in Asia, and the very like southern tip of South America. So, you know, this is obviously a large problem if you enjoy these activities, but can't do so because of certain conditions, either where you live or the weather or the location that you live in. So I've come with this idea for the heated wetsuit, a couple designs here of what they look like, and then somebody here, you know, just surfing, I'm giving you the full visual effect of what you can do in these things. And I'll go behind, you know, the engineering mechanics behind this in a bit, but I just wanted to um, show you that it comes in male and female, sizes as well from kids to all the way to adult. The technology behind the wetsuit. So as you can see, it's very, very similar to a regular wetsuit. You have the magma fleece as the top layer, the foam neoprene as the middle, and that's the foam that separates, you know, the typical warm um, water that you put off from your body and separates it from the colder outside temperatures, but only works so well. And then you have the reflux skin, which is the part that attaches to you um, that doesn't have, you know, as much of a, a finished on it to restrict water inflow as the outside does because you want water to go through that to the foam neoprene to keep that warm water in while the magma fleece is a harder material that, you know, tends to keep water out a little bit better. So the technology is very, very similar except we have um, woven within the foam neoprene, these tubes, and as you can see, there's a bunch of different little sizes from, you know, a few millimeters to just a couple, and that just depends on the water temperature. You know, it's going to be very, very cold where you're going to be in the water, and if so, you need the bigger tubes to run more water through it, um, heated water to keep you warm. If it's just in California, San Diego, um, North LA, maybe San Francisco, just depending on the different water temperature will determine how thick these tubes are and how much water can run through them, keeping you warm. The secret and the key behind the heated wetsuit is the lithium ion batteries. And if it weren't for these things, you know, it wouldn't be possible. It wouldn't be environmentally friendly. As you can see, just down the list here, the bullet points, um, they're high power, which you're obviously going to need, um, as the motor, you know, is going to be running this water um, for something as small as we need. Um, the lithium battery is perfect because of the power that it punches. The energy density and high efficiency, right, that goes 
with how environmentally friendly it is. Um, it's kind of like LED lights compared to regular ones. It's not going to require so much energy. Long cycle life, you know, you're going to be in the water for hours. So obviously you need this to work for a long time. And these rechargeable lithium batteries um, can do that. Low discharge rate and environmentally friendly. It's just kind of the key, key components of the heated wetsuit. As you can see, um, the battery is actually quite large, you know, 24 volt. That's kind of the base of what we needed in order for this to work. Anything smaller wouldn't be able to hold a charge as long. And so you can see the size of it, and it can be customized um, in order to fit on the back of the wetsuit to make it so it's more flexible and you can move around more freely. But the idea of um, the lithium battery is something that's, you know, really made this possible. There's one major concern that everybody seems to ask with the lithium batteries. Um, and it's just, as you see here, like, will it perform poorly in cold temperatures? And yes, it will. So how have we, you know, gotten around this? Because a lot of the water temperature is below, you know, freezing to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which tends to be kind of the breaking point where it performs poorly. Well, this is still in the works. As you can see, there's this little container. Um, and it's a dome, but it's more wide than it is tall. And the idea is to have the lithium battery in its own container within the bigger dome. And while the water is circulating around um, this bigger tube, it keeps the film batteries at a higher temperature. And um, this can make it right so when heat is absorbed, hydrogen bonds are broken and water molecules can move freely. And so it has to be this size, but quite a bit bigger than the battery pack, because you need that space for these molecules to move around freely so that they can heat up. Um, that's you know the reason why we have these water tanks in houses, these water heaters. Um, it has to be stored. Water can't be heated that quickly. It needs a place to turn and to then offshoot into other areas. In the wetsuit, it's going to shoot off through these tubes to the rest of you know the body. In a house, it shoots through the pipes and makes it so you have hot running water through the sink or through the tub or any of the following. And so this is really the science behind the wetsuit. A lithium battery, this dome that allows um, these water molecules to move quickly and so they can heat up and then distribute to the rest of the wetsuit. So with the wetsuit, almost anywhere is possible to surf now. Places you didn't even think that would be possible, such as you know, the Sea of Japan, North Korea, Japan, North Korea, um, northern parts of China, you can surf there. Anywhere along the coast, you can surf comfortably. The West Coast, Spain, France, Norway, Sweden, um, Ireland, you know, any of the following, you can surf um, as long as there aren't, you know, obviously icebergs. And then the northern coast, you go north of Virginia Beach, where it's way too cold, and there are great waves, but too cold to surf. You can now surf those. The, it opens the doors for so many possibilities. The supply chain of um, the heated wetsuit. So it's going to be manufactured in Korea, Osaka, Nogia, and Tokyo. And then, so those are the suppliers, the producers, that will be shipped to the West Coast. That's where our company is based in California, Oregon, and Washington, and it'll be distributed from there um, to consumers. The market for this is going to be you know, anywhere from 10 years old, maybe even younger, all the way to 70. But of course, you can snorkel well past your 70s, maybe not surf. Um, but that's our age and we're shooting for is 10 to 70. With obviously no limits. The manufacturing price of the lithium battery costs about 250 bucks. That's half the cost of the wetsuit. And so we try to really cut costs and make it affordable in the other areas. Um, the sell price is going to be 900 to 1500 dollars just depending on how thick those tubes are in the wetsuit. We're going to market through billboards, through commercials, through ads on the internet, um, you know, word of mouth. We're going to try every way possible that we can to market this idea and get it to consumers everywhere. And that is the end of my presentation. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I look forward to uh, hearing your responses and what you guys think of this idea. Thank you.